What's up everybody? It's your boy Titan Fee Jack and I'm back at you again with another video. Today we're going to take a look at a sneaker that I wanted real badly. Didn't get on release day, but uh, it came out what a month or two ago, about a month and a half ago. And the shoe was sitting, but just not in your boy's size 14. So I waited and waited and shout out to this uh, online store. They have a few brick and mortar locations across the US. And your boy was able to get them for under retail. But before we get into a deeper look into the sneaker, I need a couple things from you. I need you to hit that like button on today's video and do hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video right here on this channel. And do leave a comment in the comment section. And since you're down there looking at the description box, there is some links in there. You can do some shopping. Also save yourself some money on certain things. Now let's get into the sneaker. Uh, this sneaker is a tribute to a country named Nigeria. When I say that, you already know what I'm talking about. This is the box. You can see that box label right there. I'm gonna read it. It says Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Craft. Yes, another craft sneaker. And the color is sail, pale, vanilla, and black. This is a size 14. And I mentioned that I got them from a online store with a, a couple of brick and mortar locations across the US. I'm talking about none other than the Whitner Group at Ama Manier. I hope I pronounced it right. Yes, little top beat up on the box but that's okay got your line stamp I know it's authentic and look inside of the box you got your white paper kind of beat up as well we have no lot stamp on the inside again I don't know if this is something new but maybe we never had lot stamps in Jordan ones so or just I don't know certain ones had lot stamps that's everything in the box. Without further ado, let's get the video started. Here we go, guys. We have the Air Jordan Retro 1 High OG Craft. The vibrations of Naja. So let me know your thoughts on this sneaker. On the first sight of this sneaker, I was very impressed because the level on this sneaker is very tumble. And this sneaker is very wearable. A little something you can wear to an all white party. We have a lot of those here down south. And you can accessorize it, you know. Be looking fly. But uh, a little background on this sneaker. Uh, this sneaker is the vibrations of Naja. If you do remember, uh, we did have a Nike Presto that was dedicated to this uh the sam cause the vibrations of nausea it was green i try to put a picture up on the screen right there but not sure a lot of you guys wear prestos but uh they were also part of that uh tribute to nausea so what you need to know a little background on what this actually means is this sneaker is a tribute to the country nigeria the word Niger means Nigeria and basically Nigeria. Let's just say this sneaker is a whole tribute to Nigeria from the uh the sail leather, the, the pale vanilla color on the sneaker, the details on the sneaker, and the swoosh and your ankle collar. All those are basically tributes to the country Nigeria. So with that being said. The sneaker is made on an all sale base. The, the entire sneaker is sale. You do have your uh, pale vanilla swoosh with speckles of black on top of it. And you have the same thing going around your ankle collar. You do have a puff branded uh, wings logo right here. You have that same sale color uh, on your midsole pale vanilla on the very bottom which leads to the outsole then give you a look at the back of the sneaker a good look at that padding on your ankle collar is pale vanilla with black speckles on top of it 
same as the swoosh as I take it to the medial side of the sneaker and then the little cut right here but basically it's a very simple sneaker to uh to go over is basically all sail color you got your midsole which is sail pale vanilla on the bottom and look how tumbled the toe box in I'm sorry look how tumbled the toe box is as I take out your tissue and look how soft yes you have a uh, nylon tongue in the sail colorway you have that pale vanilla piping going around your uh, your tongue and you do have a woven patch with the Nike Air branding on here in the, in the same pattern as the uh, swoosh and your anchor collar basically they did the uh, pale vanilla and they put some black speckles on top of it and you do have a pale vanilla sock liner as you can see and it does come with some oval laces in a pale vanilla colorway that's what come in the sneaker and it does come with additional laces some white laces it comes in your box your peekaboo box but they were just like this in a box and I got them yep I know it's not ideal but you know you learn to pick and choose your battles in life so as much as I dislike the the situation I'm not gonna complain I'm just happy I got an authentic pair of sneakers for under retail so that's the two laces these come with the insert does come out here you go pale vanilla insert black Nike Air branding and you do have a men's size 14 sticker on here and this is the back of the insert this is another dream cell insert that we have here as I slip it back in uh, and let's take a look at the sizing tag say US size 14 production date August the 11th of 2022 to November 14th of 2022 so about three months of production with these so let me know your thoughts on these did you guys get these on release day or did you guys get them on sale like me uh i was checking i was looking on StockX and social media and a couple people were discussing these on there and one guy said he glad that nobody uh buying them from the resellers because he just put in a bid of $85 on GOAT to get a pair of these. But I got these off of Ama Manera for 20% off. So I got these under retail. Maybe if I had waited, could have got them lower. But with size 14, you can't play around with it. Stop messing around, Sam. You're going to do it, jump. You can't play around with it. You see it, you got to go get it. So... I went and got them, glad to have them to the collection. Probably gonna be styling these to church, so let me know your thoughts on the Air Jordan Retro 1 High OG Craft, the vibrations of Naja. Leave that in the description, I'm sorry, in the comment section, and I'm gonna take off, like I always tell you guys. If you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker, because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting a sneaker. I'm Titanic Fee Jack, signing out.